Hey guys, it's Joe from Mattress Clarity. Today I'm going to be doing another review. We have the Lowell mattress. I'm gonna be running this mattress through a number of pretty cool tests. I'm gonna be telling you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. By the end of the video, you're gonna have a pretty good idea if this is the right fit for you, so stay tuned. I will give a quick overview here, but before we do that, if you have any specific questions or you would like for me to give you a personal recommendation, all you have to do is leave a comment below. So the Lowell mattress is an all foam mattress. It's sold exclusively online. I've actually reviewed this mattress before and I was excited to jump in and give my sort of updated thoughts. Let's talk about the construction of the Lowell mattress, starting with the cover. We have a nice soft, thin cover. It has a nice, cool texture to it. I really like it a lot. Onto the mattress now, we have 10 inches in total. We have a base layer that's just seven inches. Um, it's a pretty standard base layer amongst mattresses of this price range. We have a transition layer and then a gel memory foam layer. You can see that this is a slow moving memory foam feel. It takes a while to recover. It should be very good with pressure relief, but I would wait till towards the end of the video where you'll have a very cool pressure map testing. I would stick around for that. Um, so we have a soft layer, transition layer, and then a firm support layer. So you should get good pressure relief without the feeling of getting stuck because this is a much springier uh, transition layer. Uh, so you have pretty good pressure relief. I would say this, this part is pretty thin. So if you're a bit heavier, you might kind of press through that and feel a little bit more firmness, but that's kind of the, uh, the construction overall. Let's talk about firmness and feel. From a firmness perspective, I'm gonna put this mattress at about a seven out of 10, with 10 being the firmest. So just slightly firmer than average. The reason I feel that way is you've got an inch and a half of a very soft memory foam, but it's much firmer with the layers underneath that. So when you're applying pressure to the mattress, the combined feel is probably about a seven out of 10 overall. As far as the feel is concerned, you have that memory foam on top, so it has a little bit of that memory foam feel, but it's only an inch and a half. So it's kind of like half of a memory foam feel, I would say. So you can push your hand in and the top layer will take a while to recover, but overall, you're not gonna feel like you get stuck. So you do get pretty good pressure relief without that feeling of getting stuck. Um, it does have some bounce, just a little bit. I'll show you, I'll drop this the cross ball. It's a little bit of bounce. So it kind of has a nice balanced feel overall, I would say. I'm going to talk through how I feel in different sleeping positions. I'm going to start on my back. First thing I notice is my hips sink in a little bit. I definitely feel that memory foam on top. Uh, it's relatively firm overall and it feels very supportive. I think this is a very good match for me on my back. I actually think it would be a pretty good match for most people sleeping on their back. I'm going to switch to my side now. I feel pretty good pressure relief. That memory foam, you can definitely feel it. Um, I feel a little bit firmness after that. So I would say it's a good match for me on my side from a pressure relief perspective. But if you were much heavier than I am, you might feel it's a little bit firmer because you might press through that, that top um, gel memory foam layer. I'm gonna switch onto my stomach now. I feel that it's a pretty good match for me there as well. I think if you're much heavier than I am, you might want something just a little bit firmer. But for me, someone around my weight, it's, it's a pretty good match. I'm gonna give you a visual representation of where you might feel pressure on this mattress. I've got a pressure map here. I'm gonna lie down on my side, back, and stomach, and you're gonna see anywhere from blue to no pressure all the way up to red for high pressure. So let's get started. Hey guys, Martin here to offer a different perspective. Joe is 5'9", 160. I am 6'7", 230. Definitely a different body type. And you should consider your body type when you're looking at a mattress. So we're looking at the lull here. Um, Joe felt it was a seven, close to a seven for firmness. For me, closer to an eight. Um, definitely firmer than Joe thought. Um, on my side, I pressed through these soft upper layers down to the support layers underneath. So on my shoulders and my hips, I definitely felt a little bit of pressure in those areas. Um, on my stomach, I think I need a little more support overall is definitely kind of bowing in in the center. On my back, this is really this mattress really shined. I was lying on my back, I felt good support overall and also comfort. So if you're a back sleeper and you're my size, this might be a good choice for you. Do you sleep with a partner? If you do, you may want to consider what we call motion isolation. 
Basically, if your partner moves on that side of the bed, is that motion gonna transfer over to you and disturb you? So to test that, we have a glass here. I'm gonna create a little commotion here, a little disturbance. And you can see that this glass is barely moving. It has memory foam on top, so I expected it to be pretty good. And it is, so this could be a very good option for couples. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the bed, you might want to consider edge support. So I'm on the edge here. Let's say I'm about to tie my shoe. I don't feel like I'm going to fall off the bed or anything, so I feel like it's pretty good. I'm going to lie down towards the very edge of the bed. I feel pretty good in this position. I'm not going to fall off the bed or anything like that, so I feel like the edge support is pretty good. Let's talk through some of the pros or who I think this mattress may be a good fit for. I would say combination sleepers, people who switch in different positions throughout the night. Um, I think this is especially good for back sleepers, uh, really of any weight range as well. I think this is a good match if you want a nice foam feel, but you don't want to feel that you're getting stuck, which is true with like true memory foam mattresses. Um, this has that nice memory foam pressure relief without the feeling of getting stuck. Uh, this is also a great option for couples in that it does very well with motion isolation. Let me talk through some potential cons or who I think this mattress may not be the best fit for. I think this mattress is great for light and medium weight sleepers. I think if you're a heavy sleeper, um, if you sleep on your side, I think you're just gonna kind of press through the, the comfort layers and you feel like it's gonna be a little bit firmer. And I think maybe you want something that's a little bit more supportive if you sleep on your, your stomach or back. Um, I think if you have had success with traditional inner spring mattresses, that's a very different feel from what you get here. So that's just kind of something to note as well. I'll give you some additional information about the Lowell mattress. They have financing available, so if you don't want to pay in one lump sum, you can actually pay in smaller monthly payments. They have free shipping and returns. They have a 100-night risk-free trial period. Um, it's made in the USA, and they have a couple of other products available. They have a mattress protector and a wooden or metal frame available. All right, so just to wrap up, I think there's a lot to like about the Lowell mattress. I think this really shines for light and medium weight sleepers people who sleep in different positions at night. Um, it's especially good for back sleepers. I would just caution you if you're a heavier sleeper and you sleep on your side, you may feel that it's a little bit too firm or you might just want something a little bit more supportive overall. But yeah, I think a lot of people are gonna really like this mattress. So that's basically it. If you're just getting started with your research, I'd encourage you to check out our website, mattressclarity.com. If you wanna see some top picks, just Google mattress clarity plus best mattress and definitely let me know if you have any questions.